What's up guys, got the uh, cobalt ratcheting crescent wrench. You squeeze this handle right here and it closes the jaws. You push this button here. And it opens the jaw. Anyways, I'm gonna keep this ratcheting crescent wrench close by because Great for those tight areas. So what I'm doing here is I've got the um, rear spring set up. I'm having a hard time because you see that rusted part? Well, it looks like it's been damaged already. So crimp that. I see the strut itself is damaged as well. How the heck that would happen, I don't know. Of course, I'm gonna have to pry this out and probably have a hard time putting it back in but we'll see what happens the point of this video is to check out this crescent crescent wrench here in action and I reviewed this before I figured I have it out might as well make a little video of it if I can get this light to hold so I'm going to push this button here as I move this hood Squeezing the button as I'm trying to turn it. I'm tightening my jaws here. I'm not turning it just yet. There we go. You hear the clack clack? There we go. Now we're turning. Watch the threads. So now we got it. Every time I use this flashlight, I hate it more and more. It's not designed for any real purpose. It doesn't hold well. It doesn't support itself. Well, that's one of the hardships about this tool. That if I have it just on the tip, it'll get a lot better. See the slip there. There we go. I'll push on this as I do this. Hopefully, I have one more gear in. There we go. Once you find the sweet spot, then it's worth pulling it out. But initially, I couldn't use the ratcheting wrench. This is a 19 millimeter DeWalt DWM T72307 reversible ratcheting wrench. Um, because there's a little space here. But as you can see, it doesn't fit in here. As we crunch it up, I had the problem where that box in was getting stuck here, so I was relegated to using the open end. But then as you turn it, you gotta release it, come back out, find the sweet spot again, do it again, it works well, but having this um, Works a lot better. Anyways, you guys get the idea. Here's the uh, cobalt ratcheting crescent wrench. You can see the jaws. The jaws move. And that's how they end up you know, allowing the crescent or the ratcheting to occur. Thank you for watching. What is today? The 3rd of September. Ha, it's almost my sister's birthday.
Mighty Soul, if you're listening, love you. Hopefully you're doing well. Have a great day.